Easy way to time align for a center image. Three way active with the Helix DSP. Oh, Is there an audio test track or CD I can get? What suggestion do you have? This right here is the My Disc from Sheffield Lab. And on that disc is three people describing their position that, you know, I'm talking center, so left, center, right, polarity pops, and pink noise. If you're an Apple Music guy, or you can buy the whole disc. Now the disc itself has a ton of other test tracks on it for doing all kinds of things. Like it is, that is the CD to have for everything. <laughs> um, just be careful with it because it also has lots of test tones. You want to make sure that it's isolated in your playlist all by itself because you don't want to be like playing a zero 1000 hertz test track all of a sudden just poof. the other that we use which is the new educar uh, test and tune app you can get on mm -hmm. itunes it's like 20 bucks and what it has is pink noise which is mono right here and then you have center. center center right of center and then you have all your pink noise tracks in their bass mid treble and whatnot mm -hmm. and then you have test tones in the test portion of it you have left minus center left right mono and then across the bottom here you have a one kilohertz sweep and then for setting your gains you have 40 250 1k 0 db negative 5 and negative 10. these two applications get me everything i need now what you have to have out of all of this though is some form of an rta that is the most important thing if you don't have an rta then you're kind of gonna have a really hard time with this because you have to be able to match your left to your right that's the most important thing meaning when you're looking at the output output of the speakers, this has to match that. Now, not all is lost. You can do it a very difficult way, which is play one frequency with a uh, with an SPL meter for your phone, and you play one frequency. So if you've crossed your tweeters over at 3,200 hertz, then you basically have from 3,200 to 20K at one third octave to worry about, which isn't a ton. Uh, but you could play with an SPL meter mounted somewhere in the car, uh, meaning like where your head is, because it has to stay stationary, and you play the driver's front tweeter and you play each one of the you play you have a test tone generator oh that's another one i use this right here okay. which is called audio audio tools by performance audio and this has in it a tone generator app and i can select tones and i can select which frequency i want here and whether i want you know or it has some presets there but anyways if you play let's say a thousand hertz here and you see what your SPL volume is on it, then you can go over and play a thousand hertz here and see what your SPL is on it and you can adjust the levels that way. Let's say this one puts out 100 dB and mm -hmm. this one puts out 105 dB. Turn the volume down until it says 100 dB and then you just work your way through that. And RTA is doing that all at once. So it's looking at this whole, you're playing pink noise and it can measure all of those frequencies. Now for an affordable RTA, you could grab the audio Fog UMI1, open that up for me. And inside the box for this. Now this works with a software called REW, which you can download for your Windows or Mac. It comes with the CD. This guy right here, the Audio Frog CD is phenomenal. Mm. Uh, but it comes with the microphone and all the adapters in order to plug this into your laptop yeah. in order to do all your RTA testing. All right, I hope that covers that.